Homeless people are starting to set up camp at the empty lot on the corner of Humboldt and Bruce Road in East Chico. This is not a city alternate homeless campsite, though. Action News Now reporter Ryan Ketchum visited the site and spoke with people living there to see why they moved. Yesterday, this was the only RV that was parked right here, but as you can see behind me, there are now six trailers and many cars. The new homeless people say they were told to move here. Um, we were told by an officer last night in, um, was it Costco? Win Winco's parking lot. So um, they told us to come out here, so we're here. Chico Police Captain Billy Aldridge says that's not the case, though. Did the police say it's okay for people to move here to Humboldt and Bruce? No, we've not given anyone authorization to move to an, um, a site that's not been accepted and adopted by council per the settlement agreement at this time. People living in trailers say they're confused and want help on where to go. But half the people can't be in places because of their trailers are either too old, too many animals, or not enough income or something, and it's not right because we need help just as much as everybody else, but there's only certain places we can go to. Aldridge tells me the city doesn't have a specific spot for people living in trailers to move to right now. They can park on city streets for up to 160 hours before a violation, though. People living in neighborhoods near March Junior High, just a couple hundred yards away from the trailers, are mad that homeless people are there, especially since the city did not make that land an alternate homeless campsite and are reconsidering another place to put it. And whether the city approved of that, whether the police department said it, to me it doesn't really matter. It's that, that they're there and that they're not being removed right away. Tanner Schaefer wants city action now. I think when you say this is what's going to happen and you're not going to and then they just move, I think then it shows that um, people that are homeless or whatever can do whatever they want. I think it sends a bad message to our students and just to our community. I don't the city does not have to go through the same process with the seven day notice for people with trailers since they have shelter. The city is still coming up with its plan for enforcement with these trailers. Reporting in Chico, I'm Ryan Ketchum, Action News Now, coverage you can count on. The only official city alternate homeless campsite is at the corner of Eaton and Cohasset Road.